Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. The time has come to finally update my Sensi deep dive. If you've been with me for over a year, then you know that one of my first videos, if not my first, was a Sensi deep dive, but it was not the greatest video. <laughs> So we learn, we improve, and now it's time to do a brand new Sensi video and uncover the secrets behind what is happening, what you see on the surface, and kind of explain everything that goes on underneath that. Now, I was in Sensi for about four years, so I know a little bit of the behind the scenes, if you will, and what goes on there, and what is taught to these new consultants from the superstar directors, the star directors, the directors, the whatever, the, whoever sponsored them, what they are teaching them. So we're gonna take a little walk down Sensi Lane. Uh, I wanna start by giving you a brief overview of how they came about and how they turned into an MLM, and then we will discuss some of their products. We'll go over some of those quickly. It won't won't take us very long and then we'll get into the the dirt. Now I know that's a lot to cover so I will be sure and add chapters within the video so you can skip ahead to whatever you want to listen to if you don't want to listen to the whole thing. That will make it nice and easy for you and with all of that said let's get into it. So if you're not familiar if you've never heard of Scentsy before they're a company that started as a wickless candle company back in 2003. They were started by two women named Colette and Kara. In 2004 a man named Orville Thompson was attending a home show in Salt Lake City, Utah, because Utah. At this home show, Colette and Kara were there with their wickless candles and their wax, and they were selling their products across from Orville, who I believe was selling video game controllers or something like that. He saw these products. He was a serial entrepreneur, and he thought it was a great idea. He wanted to buy the company. He went home, and long story short, talked to his wife. Heidi, who the couple had agreed to purchase this company uh, and turn it into an MLM. So that is what they did. They are of Mormon faith. So that is always some, an interesting fact to include because most of the people who start MLMs or the people who strongly back MLMs are of the same faith. It's just an interesting fact to point out. Uh, there are some theories about why Mormons go into MLMs which I'm not going to get into in this video. Maybe down the road I'll create a video, but I know there are some other creators that put out videos around that topic as well. Okay, so in 2004, since he was born as an MLM, they have since grown. They no longer just have scent wax warmers and wax. They have an array of products, which we're going to go over here in a second. But now that we know how Sensi started, where it came from, let's touch on the about page of Sensi. Now, if you click on the about about page on their website. It shows you all the different products they have. In the next section, it says who we are. And this is what they put in this section. We're completely in love with delivering amazing fragrance experiences and how it makes life better. From our flagship scented wax and wax warmers to building and nurturing and all our welcome family of consultants who sell our products. We're all about filling lives with fragrance. From humble beginnings and to 2004, co-founders Heidi and Orville Thompson took a simple, safe concept and turned it into an award-winning international fragrance company, providing a family-friendly business opportunity to hundreds of thousands of independent Sensi consultants around the world. Today, we love to connect people to their memories and each other through fragrances, wax warmers, diffusers, and portable scent systems, plus dozens of home, personal care, kids, and pet products. Products. They actually don't have pet products anymore. They had them for a very short time, but I'm assuming they probably didn't sell very well. We are a community of contributors inspired and encouraged to be our most authentic selves. We share the best of who we are across countries, cultures, and even oceans. We live with Sensi spirit, a feeling of love, acceptance, generosity, and community that is palpable when we are together as one Sensi family. So that's something else that they are big on. Like they don't call it like Sensi corporate or Sensi anything else. It's always Sensi family. Even their convention is... Uh, 
It's called Sensi Family Reunion. It's kind of gross. I don't love it. Their values are simplicity, authenticity, and generosity. Sensi says that their mission is to bring value to the world by providing an industry-leading, family-friendly business opportunity selling creative, artistic, high-quality products that warm the heart, enliven the senses, and inspire the soul. Ay, ay, ay. This is bringing back memories. Now, if you scroll down on this page, again, I will make sure all of my sources are linked in the description as always. If you scroll down on this about page, it shows you who their partners are. They have partnered somehow with Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, Looney Tunes, WB, and Harry Potter, DC and Justice League, NHL, NFL, and they did have MLB, but I guess they got rid of that. Thank you, MLB. Hmm. I really wish everybody else would do the same thing. And we all know that Disney won't because they are also seen within other MLMs. From what I understand, they are apparently now the official home fragrance of Walt Disney World, which makes me want to cry. Just why? Disney, I know you're not watching this and you probably never will, but can we stop supporting MLMs? (laughs) This article is from June 18th, 2021, and it says, as Sensi is entering a multi-year relationship with Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. After almost three years of an incredible licensed product arrangement with the Walt Disney Studios, Sensi is thrilled to enter into a multi-year relationship with Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. This relationship means that Sensi will be designated as the official home fragrance of Walt Disney World Resort. And we're excited to share that Sensi and Walt Disney World Resort will be working together to bring new guest experiences to life within the Fantasyland area at Magic Kingdom Park, creating rich storytelling opportunity through fragrance. As you can imagine, there is a ton of work to do and we're not quite ready to unveil all the details just yet. Stay tuned. So in March of 2022, they put out another article. It says Scentsy and Walt Disney World Resort celebrate alliance with first Scentsy in park experience. 2022 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival runs through July 4th in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Sensi is thrilled to celebrate our relationship with Walt Disney World Resort during our first ever in-park experience, Blossoms of Fragrance, at the 2022 Epcot International Flower Garden Festival at Walt Disney World Resort. The Sensi presented Blossoms of Fragrance exhibit features three larger-than-life butterfly-shaped floral topiaries. I don't know if I'm saying that right. (laughs) And Scentsy Fragrance Stations, where guests can experience six beloved scents, each representing a fragrance family that ties in beautifully with flowers and garden. And then it lists the different scents. It says, within our Walt Disney World Resort Alliance, Scentsy is designated as the official fragrance products of Walt Disney World Resorts and is among a select few brands that are participating in the 2022 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. We're excited to continue with Walt Disney World Resort to bring even more magically scented guest experiences to life in 2023 and beyond. So that's interesting. I'm curious if they sold, like during that time, if you went to this event, I would love to know if you saw this, number one, and number two, if they sold like the scented things at this festival, because that would really suck. Like as a consultant of a company that was exclusive to consultants, like you have to go through a consultant to purchase things because that's how they make money. I would get really upset if I saw that they were also selling like to the public without having to go through a consultant. So we've seen uh, Tupperware do this and other companies do it as well, where a beauty counter, I think was one of them, where they'll sell through consultants and then also through the stores. And I think that's just really screwed up because then these people who most likely are losing money anyway are losing even more because people have ease of access to these products. But Anyway, that was a tangent. So I wanted to touch on Sensi's generosity page because I wanted to explain some things. Now it says Sensi generosity, our impact. Giving is ingrained in our culture. It's who we are and what we do. At Sensi, generosity means we give more than we take. We are cheerful givers of our time, talents, and resources, and we think beyond ourselves. Sensi has donated more than 16.3 million US dollars to charities all over the world, which is great. I am not against charity. I'm not against any of these things. The thing that I want to point out and that I I think is is 
I don't know how to put this because I don't want it to come across the wrong way. I do support charities and I do support things that are for causes that I believe in. However, (laughs) I don't love that they use this as a tactic to pull people into an MLM. I think that anytime we can give to charities that we love, we should, that we support, that we believe in, we should do that. I don't believe that a consultant within a company should be forced to take a smaller amount of commission from a product that is going for a charity that maybe they don't back, that maybe they don't believe in. You don't have a say in the charities that Sensi contributes to. Each catalog season, they will have a product that will go toward a specific charity. So right now they have a warmer that goes to a specific charity. They'll take that money and cut the commission of the consultant whether they even if somebody just went on their website and was like hey I like this warmer I'm gonna buy it great that they send that money to charity but they're cutting that consultant's commission they're not getting as much commission that they would have gotten if said person bought a regular warmer that did not go to charity and I just think it's a little messed up that you don't have a say as a consultant, again, because it's not your business, if this money goes to the charity that you believe in or a charity that you don't believe in. There have been some controversial charities that they have supported in the past, and I can see why that would be a problem for somebody who was a consultant and was selling these products without... Not without knowing, but without actually promoting them or being vocal about the charity. It's just, I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love it. And I'll leave it at that. Now, if you scroll down further, it explains Sensi Family Foundation. It says that the mission of this foundation is dedicated to bringing value to the world through supporting children, strengthening families, and building vibrant communities. The Sensi Family Foundation was established to support what might be our most cherished value, generosity. We love cultivating an atmosphere of kindness and support in which our consultants, customers, and employees can thrive and contribute to. Through the Sensi Family Family Foundation, we are able to offer philanthropic support to individual efforts and community-based causes. And again, this is great. What I think would be even better if number one, MLMs didn't exist, but since they do exist at this moment and there are, I think there are other MLMs that also do this type of thing, I feel that it would be more beneficial if maybe you put out, if, if maybe they put out a product and they said that this product a portion of the proceeds will go to a charity of the consultant's choice. So say that they were affected by breast cancer at some point and they can pick a breast cancer charity of their choice and send it there. Or maybe they struggle with mental health or they know somebody that has struggled with mental health and they send that portion of the sale to that charity instead of one set charity every catalog period. I think that would be a better way to run it. They also do scholarships, which is cool. So that's a cool thing to shout out. So yeah, anyway, again, I'm not against charities. I'm just against MLMs in general and the forcefulness of not having a say in what that goes to if you sell the product. I don't love that. And that might just be a me thing. That's fine. I also found a team page of the people on the corporate side of Sensi. So the people like the big wigs in the Sensi world. Now, I will say that a number of individuals that used to be on the staff are no longer there when I was in. So some of them I am familiar with uh, and I just wanted to point a few things out. So you'll see Heidi and Orville, the co-owners, of course, they're on, they're the first ones on the page as our leaders (laughs) because, you know, Gold. Anyway, then you see Dan Orchard. Dan Orchard is currently the president and interim CEO. He is the interim CEO because Heidi and Orville are or were, I don't know if they still are, on a mission trip. So they left Sensi for a, a number of years to tend to their religious beliefs and do those things in a different country. And Dan Orchard is or was heading the whole thing. So wanted to point that out. Chuck Thompson. This is where it gets juicy. Get your snacks, get your drinks, whatever you have to do. 
and come back and listen to this. So Chuck Thompson, he is the chief consultant engagement officer right now, but he is also Orville's brother. He originally did not want to work for Orville. Orville offered him the job when Sensi first started and he was like, I'm going to pass. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. He ended up leaving that job or losing that job and came back to Orville to ask for a job position. Now, recently, he was involved in a little bit of drama that we're going to talk about now. (laughs) And shout out to the individual who brought this information to my attention. I appreciate you so much for that. There is a whole Reddit thread on this, and it's titled, This is apparently a higher up at Sensi who was canned after posting something. Does anyone have the screenshots of the actual offending post? So apparently from a Reddit user says that this was from Chuck Thompson, one of the top executives. He went on a rant about loan forgiveness, calling people lazy idiots, basically. He said he wanted $20,000 of someone else's money, too. The post was on his public Sensi page and it was up for an hour before finally taken down. He had maybe 500 comments and people were going crazy. Chuck seems to have different views than Orville and Heidi. And from what I understand, he did not get along with Heidi for quite some time. And I honestly still question if they do get along. Now I've met Heidi and Orville a number of times. They are both very kind people. I have nothing bad to say about them. They do mean well and I think that just because of the way the the place that they lived the way that they were brought up I think that they don't see anything wrong with the MLM business model and that's unfortunate because I think that they could be very successful doing other things and with that said Chuck I don't see him having the same beliefs or views as Heidi and Orville which is displayed with this whole controversy now his public apology that he posted on his Facebook said I needed to come up on here with a personal apology for my post yesterday. I attempted last night, but realized I needed more time to reflect and absorb the hurt I caused many of you. Because of my position and my personal desire not to cause division, it was not my place to share what I did where I did. I have spent my entire time at Sensi doing all I can to promote a unifying community. And knowing that I cause divisions among all of you is weighing heavy on me. I have always tried very hard to keep all my interaction on social media purely positive and uplifting. Despite my efforts, I made a huge mistake. I am truly grateful to all of you that reached out with correction. Whether that was in a personal message or through posts I was tagged on, I learned and will continue to learn from each of them. I hope those I negatively affected by my post will accept my sincere apology. I am a firm believer in personally giving others the benefits of the doubt, but I also firmly believe that I am not entitled to it from others. All I can do is work to earn back any lost respect. Now, do I think this apology was genuine? To an extent, yes, but only to an extent. I don't think that he is taking back what he said. I think he really meant what he said in his post, and that's fine, but from what I I've heard through the grapevine. He was told to take his post down and apologize or he was going to lose his job. This is what I've heard. I don't know this to be 100% factual. I just wanted to include that in here. Something else worth pointing out is Lindsay Randolph. Now she was brought in the first year that I went to convention or Sensi Family Reunion in Las Vegas. She previously worked with Disney and a handful of other well-known corporations. She is the chief creative officer over at Sensi. Somebody else is Kevin Kirkpatrick. He's the last one I want to point out on this page. He is listed as the chief strategy officer. Now he was actually the head of one of the other branches of Sensi that has shut down um, called Velada. Velada was a sort of like a pampered chef almost. They had fondue warmers that were essentially (laughs) scentsy wax warmers with a silicone dish instead of a glass dish. Now their chocolate was good, their cheese was gross, and I was part of that MLM too. But they closed down, I want to say it was either 2015 or 2016. I remember being on the call, like they were having this big announcement call, and I was so excited because I felt like Velada was a ground floor opportunity. In fact, I was told it was a ground floor opportunity and I should get in on it while I can because it's going to blow up, and it was very short after 
when this announcement took place and they were shutting down. So <laughs> wasn't a great opportunity. <laughs> Not one of my finest moments. So something that's kind of cool, but also kind of weird is the highlighting of their employees. Now I get it. Don't come at me. Highlight your employees and the extent to the emphasis on Sensi's employees is kind of bizarre to me. So they have a whole page about their employees, what goes on behind the scenes, which is cool. But when you go as a consultant to visit Sensi headquarters, a lot of times the people who are really like drinking the Kool-Aid over there, they will talk about how emotional it was to visit Sensi headquarters and see how many people are making money and have jobs because of the consultants. I don't believe this to be true. I think it's a load of bull. I think that the people who feel this way have fallen into the trap of this MLM and they don't realize that most of those people will probably still have jobs even if it was a company that was selling strictly to like big box stores like Walmart and Target. They would still have jobs. M majority of them. Not all of them, of course, uh, but the majority of them would be able to find a position at Sensi doing what they do or something similar, like customer support. They call it consultant support. It would just be customer support because you are the customer when you are the consultant. It's bizarre when I, I heard so many consultants when I was in, when I went to convention, talk about how emotional it was to go to the headquarters just to see the people and hear their stories. Everybody has a story. And just because they have a story that made you cry doesn't mean that Sensi is doing anything different than any place else providing jobs for people who have fallen on hard times. I don't fully grasp this whole concept but this is something that they do and they do it very heavily I as an employee would actually feel awkward if a company was highlighting me so much and making me come over and tell consultants my story of how I got a job it would be uncomfortable for me and again that could just be a me thing but it's something I wanted to point out now let's talk about their products so of course they are known for their wax and warmers their warmers used to come as like I want to say they were like 10 or 15 dollars for the small like plug in warmers or like 30 to 35 dollars for the larger warmers it is not that any longer they have warmers that range from 25 dollars regular price all the way up to 95 dollars regular price now they do from time to time have sales on warmers that they are trying to get rid of most of the time and they'll be a little bit less there is a past version of me that would have and did spend this amount of money on warmers which looking back now, I feel kind of irresponsible doing that. Their smallest warmer is $25 and their licensed warmers can range from $75 to $95. Their $95 warmer right now, it's only one that costs that much and it's the Enchanted Love warmer and that is the Beauty and the Beast warmer. So the only reason that it's that much money is because it's a licensed warmer. Since it is a licensed warmer, the consultant that sells this warmer or any licensed product within Sensi will not make full PRV on that $95. They will only get a percentage of the price of the warmer toward their PRV. And the reason for that is because it is a licensed product, which again, I just wish they would stop licensing products, these corporations. I don't really know why they do it, but hopefully they will stop soon. Their wax bars are $6 for one bar of wax. Inside of these wax bars, you get a certain amount of cubes of wax and you use anywhere from one to six cubes in a warmer. And I noticed when I was leaving Scentsy, which is one of the reasons that I just didn't love the product anymore is because their scents don't last as long anymore. So I would have like four cubes of wax in a warmer. It was all melted, so there was nothing restricting the scent, but the scent would only last for about a day. When I first started using Scentsy, you would be able to leave that wax for about two weeks and it would still last. So the quality of their product has gone down, but the price of their bars have gone up because when I first started buying, I wanna say they were like $4.50 for a bar and now they're $6 each. They do have bundle and save options, uh, for their products with the wax and warmers and with everything else as well. So when I was in Scentsy, they actually came out with their diffusers. Their diffusers, they are oil diffusers, so you can get the idea of how they work. When they first came out, they only had one and it was the 
$150 uh, diffuser. Now they have them and they range from 65 to 150. And they also sell like different shades for your warmer so you could give it a different look. And those range from $60 to $70, which again is outrageous to me to charge people that much. They also do sell essential oils. They have their natural oil blends, which are cheaper, and those are $12. They also have peppermint, which is $16, and lavender, which is $22, because those are the quote unquote pure essential oils. When they first launched these, they had a lot more oils. So this leaves me to question how well these are selling and if they will even be around much longer. The one thing that I do appreciate about Scentsy is that they don't make any claims like you see uh, doTERRA or Young Living making about their oils. They're purely for scent. So I, I can appreciate that. Now they also have fans purifiers and pods. They have an air purifier that they sell now. Those require, of course, new filters every so often their air purifier alone is 250 dollars and then their replacement filters is 35 dollars and you could get those on a subscription based type thing i'm not against air purifiers i'm not against scented things but to charge 250 dollars for an air purifier that is not even like i don't know a well-named trusted brand for things like this i just this is another product that i don't think will be around much longer i just i I really think the only people spending that amount of money on it are the people that are within Sensi. They are Sensi consultants. They need it because they need to be the face of the product, right? So they're going to buy this. This, you can put a scent pod in, which is this here on the screen. They are tiny little plastic pods and they have kind of what look like beads inside that give you the scent. And they are $10 for a pack of those. And again, they don't last very long, in my opinion. I didn't like the way they lasted. So they also have wall fan diffusers where you can put the pods in and those range from $30 to $45. Of course, they have some licensed products for those two, Beauty and the Beast and other Disney things. And then they have mini fan diffusers that are $15 and you just put a pod in there. They also have the Sensi Go and that is basically like the mini fan diffuser but enclosed. And they charge you $35 for this unless you want a colored band that goes around it you have to pay $50 for those ones those ones also light up like what the f can we not I had one of these and I thought it was the coolest thing ever but $50 why oh I know why because they have to pay all of the people they have to pay their employees that wouldn't have a job apparently without consultants and then they have to pay the consultant that apparently created the job they also have an array of unplugged products so those are things like your air fresheners and room sprays scent packs which go in scentsy buddies which we'll look at here in a minute and all of these things range from $3 to $16. And then they have their laundry and clean line. This used to be called Layers by Sensi. They have discontinued their Layers line, but they just morphed it into Sensi. So it's no longer separated from Sensi. It was never a different MLM either. So I don't know why they named it different. I don't know if they intended to make it a separate MLM and it just didn't work out that way. But I digress again. Layers is discontinued and now they have it all under the Scentsy label. So they have everything from laundry detergent to all-purpose cleaner to body wash. And all of these products range from $7 to $30, which again, you can find a much more cost-effective product if you were to go to Walmart or Target or your local grocery store or any place else aside from an MLM. <laughs> And then same thing with the body products they have. They used to be included in the Layers by Scentsy line. And these products range from $9 to $13. The Scentsy Buddies that I mentioned earlier, they are about $40 to $50 depending on which one you get. Right now, they do have a special going on where a bunch of their buddies are $20. They used to only have like a handful of buddies available at a time. And now they have quite a few Scentsy Buddies available. And I don't think think that a lot of people are purchasing these. I really like, I, I can't imagine spending $50 on a stuffed animal right now for my child because it's scented. I just like,
like I don't get it. It was they were not this expensive when I was in Sensi. They also have buddy clips for kids that are geared toward kids. It's part of their kids line. And some of these are really cute and they're all scented. Now these clip on to like backpacks, lunch boxes, coats, whatever you want to clip them onto. Uh, they range from $18 to $20, which again, like I can't logically make this make sense. And the scent doesn't last long. So you have to replace them. So you spent money on this cute little keychain thing and you have to replace it every three months or however often you need to replace it. So it still smells, but it could also be causing kids in the classroom an issue because of the scent. Like, wow, it's just not logical to me. They do have also something coming out very soon that's costing $45. And that is a Scentsy Buddy travel pillow. Make it stop. It's stop. That's it for the kids. They used to have a lot more in the kids line. Like they had bubble bath and things like that. They also had, like I said, a pet line, which I can't imagine did well. Pets have sensitive skin to begin with. So that probably just didn't work out. They have bricks. I had mentioned this in a past video and these are huge like bricks of scented wax. They cost $24 for one brick or you can get two for 40. The last product that I wanted to discuss really quickly is their Scentsy Whiff box. This is a $35 box and the description on it reads, unbox an exciting surprise. Each month we handpick new trending products for you to enjoy. These curated collections arrive in a stylish designed package topped with a note about what you'll find inside. With a different monthly theme, it's the perfect way to discover new fragrances, experience a variety of products, and even gift to others. The monthly whiff box includes a variety of items like body, clean, and laundry products, Scentsy bars, and more, all for less money than purchasing the products individually. Contents are available while supplies last and are subject to change during the month offered. Get a whiff box on a regular basis and at a discount by adding it to Scentsy Club subscription. You'll be delighted when your next box conveniently arrives at your door. Ask your consultant for details. This is interesting because if you sign up for a subscription, you get the option to add a bar of your favorite wax to come every month or every other month, however often you sign up for these subscriptions. And if that scent is discontinued, you will continue to get that scent. So it's an interesting way to keep you on because they so often discontinue scents. Found that to be pretty interesting. And then this is their other subscription option. This is Scentsy Club. Let's talk about how it works. Create a subscription and choose your products. Choose your shipping schedule. Take advantage of club exclusive perks such as always get my bar. If we discontinue a Scentsy bar that's in your subscription, we'll keep making it just for you as long as you keep it in your order. So they also have a rewards and referral program through Scentsy Club. I feel like all MLMs are starting to do this. So this is something that you'll see like Moder do where they have a referral side and then they have the actual like MLM consultant side. And the referral side is basically an affiliate program, which if you have that, just get rid of the consultant side because that would get rid of all the, the recruiting problems and all of those things that make it a pyramid scheme with a product. So when you shop Scentsy Club for yourself or refer friends and family who then order from Scentsy Club, you'll earn points you can use toward future orders in club or anywhere on your consultant's personal website, including warmers, diffusers, Scentsy Buddies, and more. You can earn two ways. Earn one point for every $1 you spend in Scentsy Club. Earn two points for every $1 your referred members spend in Scentsy Club. So when you earn, when you have $25, you get a dollar off. 500 is $20. Thousand is 40 and so on. So they have all of this set up. Like it's legit an affiliate program. They just don't pay you cash. If they just added that piece in, if they just sent you money as an affiliate for buying and referring people, this would make it so much more ethical. <laughs> and clean. Like, why do we have to add the recruiting aspect to it? Can we get rid of that part? That's the problem. Now let's go over the consultant guide. Now this has all of the things in it from policy and procedure type things, compensation plan, rank advancements, all of those things are inside of this guide. It is not super long. I won't go through everything. I know you'll get bored doing that. So we'll touch on the things that we all want to know what the f 
about and then leave the rest because we don't need that. All right. So the front page of this little booklet consultant guide is family with a dog and kids with what looks like a Mickey Mouse Lula Rocher. <laughs> <laughs> do they does LuLaRoe even make Disney anymore I was also in LuLaRoe <laughs> that was a short stint thank god for that okay so looking at this consultant guide key look for these icons for quick bonus builders so you have awards and recognition goal alert party tips talking tips your workstation training consultant store and sensi lingo if that doesn't scream cult i'm not sure what else will they even give you a little welcome letter you're now part of something big a global movement to beautify the world through fragrance with healthy doses of friendship generosity and so much fun you're probably pretty excited you should be and you might also be wondering what to do first. We've got you covered. During your first 70 days, we'll send you emails filled with training and encouragement and provide you with a checklist of simple things to do to get your Sensi business up and running. Again, it's not your business. If it was your business, you would have a say in what charity your product proceeds go to. <laughs> your first step? Hold a launch event and work toward earning new consultant awards like Shooting Star and Sensational Start. I got both of those. <laughs> I was, ugh, I was drinking that purple Kool-Aid so much. I was never thirsty. Always had to pee. They'll get your business really moving. Plus, you get sweet perks for achieving them. Win-win. No matter what, don't forget that we're here for you. Welcome to Sensi. Gives you their mission and their values, which we already touched on. Talks about the starter kit, uh, logging into the workstation, launching your business. Your launch event is where you make those first sales and connect with hosts to schedule more parties and events. Nobody wants to schedule a Sensi party, do they? Love this. What do you want? More income, family time, vacation, friendship, awards, and recognition. The likelihood of getting any of those things are very slim in the MLM world. They also give you the different catalog times. So they have two catalogs every year, the fall and winter and spring and summer. Here's the good stuff. So new consultant awards, the Shooting Star Award. Earn these awards to fast track your personal promotion and a 5% increase in commission when you promote to certified consultant. Chart your progress on your workstation. So when you first join Sensi, you start as an essential consultant which is the bottom of the line the next rank is certified consultant and the only thing you need to do for that is get 1000 prv so that's personal retail volume and once you get that you automatically move up from 20 percent commissions to 25 percent commissions and those are the only two ranks within sensi that do not require you to have any kind of recruits under you the shooting star word is the charm or pin I had the charm bracelet and I threw it away. <laughs> um, I had this charm. So when you sell at least 500 PRV within your first 15 days, you get the charm or pin and you get the option to purchase your shooting star enhancement kit, which is just a bunch of a bunch of Sensi products like best selling or what have you. So you basically sell $500 to be able to purchase something. And that just makes no sense. <laughs> They also have the Earn the Shooting Star Trainer Award, and that's when you get $25 product credit uh, when you sponsor a new team member who earns Shooting Star. So not only do you get the option to buy something when you hit Shooting Star, but the person who sponsored you, the person who you signed up under, gets a $25 product credit, but you just get the option to spend more money. Mm, I don't know what... What's the thought process there? Because you're actually doing the work, not your sponsor, right? They also have the Sensational Start Award. And this I only got to level one. Um, and I got another charm. <laughs> so the same thing, you get charms or pins. Level one is selling at least 1,500 PRV, so $1,500 worth of products. Now, when you look at the licensed products or the charity products, you have to remember that all of that price number is not considered as PRV because of the uh, royalty that they have to pay out to the company that is licensing the products. <laughs> I would imagine like when I was in Sensi, we didn't have 
have any licensed products. We only had the the charity products. So we didn't have to worry about that piece too much. But I would imagine that it does affect it way more now with all of the uh, Disney and Looney Tunes and all of the other products that they have. So then you have to sell 500 PRV and oh, oh. So you sell 1500 PRV or sell 500 PRV and sponsor one new personally enrolled consultant who hits 200 PRV and complete the first things first checklist in on your workstation. What you earn is $50 in product credit, sensational start pin or charm, and then a certificate of achievement. To get to level two, you have to sell at least 3,000 PRV or 1,500 PRV and sponsor one new personally enrolled consultant who hits 200 PRV, complete the checklist. You then get $125 of worth of product credit. Sensational start level one and two pin slash charm, certificate of achievement, and the sensational start warmer exclusively for sensational start level two or three achiever. Then you have the last level of this sensational start, which is level three, and you can either sell 6,000 PRV or 3,000 PRV and sponsor two new personally enrolled consultants who hit 200 PRV and then complete the first things first checklist. Once you hit level three, you get a $225 product credit, sensational start level one, two, and three pins or charms, certificates of achievement for all three levels, sensational start award warmer exclusively for level two or three, and a trophy. (laughs) And major props from Sensi and your fellow consultant. So it gives you a little tip on the bottom of this page and it says the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to earn those awards is to have parties. (laughs) parties. <laughs> so like I said, they are very heavy in the party planning business. Okay, so some more awards and recognition you can receive through Sensi. First is the sales award. So this is the one Um, I actually mentioned this in my last video that I posted. You earn the monthly sales award every time you hit 2,000 PRV in any month. So you get a 5% bonus in your commission. So instead of 20 or 25, you get 25 to 30%. Well, you would automatically get 30 because at that point you would be certified. So you get 30%. They also have the top sales of the month award and that goes to each country's top consultant by title who earns the highest PRV. From what I understand, so far you're just getting charms. It's a lot of work for charms. Well, you get 5% bonus, but still, that's not a whole lot. They also have the Lifetime PRV Award for every cumulative 10000 50,000, 100,000, or 500,000 PRV earned. So every level gets a different color star. And then of course they have the annual sales excellence award. And this goes to all consultants who achieve 30,000 PRV or more each year. It comes with a $1,000 bonus in a trophy qualification period, May 1st through April 30th. They also have a sponsor of the month award. And this goes to the top consultant in each title and country with the most first time active of personal enrollments in one month. A minimum of three new recruits who each earn at least 200 PRV is required. In the case of a tie, the combined PRV of the new recruits will be used as a tiebreaker. What? So again, the person that got that 200 PRV and up did all the work, but the sponsor is being rewarded. Annual Mentor Award, personally enroll 14 or more new consultants who achieve the title of certified consultant or higher during the qualification period of May 1st through April 30th. Your rewards include personalized trophy, ooh, $25 bonus per certified consultant and $50 bonus per lead consultant or higher. So every consultant that worked themselves to get to certified or lead or star or what have you gets your sponsor $25 to $50 extra 
each consultant, but they didn't do the work. Director consistency bonus. Meet all director rank qualifications for three consecutive months and receive Sensi Family Reunion registration for your regi- for your region free. Meet all director rank qualifications for six consecutive months and receive SFR leadership. So Sensi Family Reunion leadership registration. They have extra trainings for like directors and above, obviously. And if you attend Sensi Family Reunion Leadership or Retreat for leaders events, you'll also receive a free set of Sensi branded luggage. Luggage is a one-time award. Sensi also has a circle of excellence. This is awarded when a superstar director has six first-generation superstar directors. Your rewards includes, include one free incentive trip each calendar year when you maintain the rank of superstar director For the 12 months prior to the end of the incentive trip qualification period, any incentive points you earn can be used for guest or upgrade. That is very interesting. One free leadership registration each year, one free Sensi World Tour registration each year, one free Sensi Family Reunion registration, one free Superstar Director Summit registration. So these are all of the annual events that they hold, and these people... Because of the work of their team, their six first-generation superstar directors that worked themselves to get themselves there, their sponsor gets all of these things. We have the Alice, I'm not even going to try and say her last name because I will butcher it, Shining Star Award. Alice was Heidi's mom who unfortunately passed away um, a few years back. This award had existed before she even passed away, but they ended up naming it after her afterward. I do want to respect that, uh, but I, it's still in an MLM, so I don't love it too much. <laughs> it says that this award, it's a trophy. That's what you get. This award is given to a consultant who fulfills the Sensi mission and exemplifies our core values of simplicity, authenticity, authenticity, and generosity. Consultants choose the nominees and the winner is selected by Sensi's executive team. So this is something, all of these awards are handed out and honored at Sensi Family Reunion in front of a big crowd. Actually, if you're in Canada and you ever watched Big Brother, a Nick, a Nick, a Nick, I'm probably saying her name wrong, and for that, I apologize. But when I was in Nashville, she was a nominee. I don't remember if she won or not, but she was a nominee for this, and she's still a Sensi consultant. So it's usually the people within Sensi who have bigger names, who are more well-known, that get the nominations. Um, And they each get, like, feature videos at Sensi Family Reunion, where you have to watch and, like, hear their Sensi story and their Sensi why, and it's all emotional and everybody cries and all of that. So skipping ahead to the compensation plan, let's break her down. Sensi's compensation plan. So you can see up here, they don't have as many ranks as some other MLMs that I've seen. But right up top, you'll see the different ranks that you can advance to. They have two regular consultant role roles, and then they have six leadership roles where you need a team to reach. So first you have your essential consultant and that is what you are when you first sign up. You get 10% commissions from your Sensi Club PRVs and 20% from your standard PRV. You get no other bonuses. Once you hit certified, you get a 5% raise and that all that it requires is getting 1000 PRV c- cumulatively. So it doesn't have to be in a single frame of time. It's just whenever you hit that for your first thousand PRV, that's when you hit certified. So then you get 25% commissions from your standard PRV and 15 from your Sensi Club. So that's what we mentioned before, the subscription type thing. Then you reach lead consultant. What you need for this is 500 PRV. So you don't have that 1000 anymore. It goes down to 500 and this is across the board for all ranks. So you need a group wholesale volume of 1,000 and one active frontline consultant. So frontline is your first, like that is your first generation sponsor. You sponsored that person. Group wholesale volume is your collection of teams. So if anybody under you ends up being director and has their own team, they're in your group, but not in your team wholesale volume. Your team wholesale volume is your team. 
So anybody on your team. So that director might be on your team, but their team is not. So at this point, you get 25% again of your PRV. And again, this is across the board as well as the Sensi commissions. Sensi club commissions is 15% across the board. But as a lead consultant, you would get 2% bonus from your personal wholesale volume. So that is different than your PRV. It's a little bit lower. Um, and then your frontline essential or certified consultants, you get the TWV, the team wholesale volume, because they are your team, 2% of that. I know this is getting confusing. From there, you rank up to star consultant. This is where my bus stopped. This is where I stayed. At star consultant, you get the 500, you, again, 500 PRV is what you need to qualify. Then you need 2,500 group wholesale volume and two active frontline consultants. At this point, you get not 2%, but 4% of wholesale volume, 4% of TWV, and 2% of frontline lead consultant TWV. So they're only one rank under you, which means you get a little bit less of a commission from them. And then we have our superstar consultant. You need a higher group wholesale volume of 6,000, three frontline consultants, and then you receive 7% PWV, 7% TWV, 5% TWV of lead consultants. So again, now that person is two ranks below you. So you get a little more of their PRV. <laughs> And then you have 3% of the star consultant. And then as a director, this is where you need to have a certain amount of team wholesale volume. And the requirements for this are 10,000 wholesale volume for your group, 2,000 team wholesale volume, because you need that now as your as a director, then you have to have three active frontline consultants. So these are the people that you yourself sponsored. Again, you'll get a boost in your PWV and your TWV on certified and essential at 9%. You then get an additional 2% on lead consultant TWV, 5% on star, 2% superstar, 3% frontline director, and 3% first generation director TWV bonus. And then at the point of star director is where you need to hit a number in all of the things. So you need to hit that 500 PRV. You need to hit 30,000 GWV. So it went from 10,000 to 30,000. And then team wholesale volume of 6,000, three active frontline consultants, and two first generation directors. And then you'll just see that you'll get additional uh, bonuses for your first, second, and third generations for these last ranks here. Um, but the superstar director, you have to jump from 30,000 group wholesale volume to 80,000. That is a huge jump. And then your team wholesale is from six to 10,000. You then need three active frontline consultants and four first generation directors. That might sound easy, but it's not. It's very hard to do this. And it's very hard to feel responsible for your team below you and keep them motivated to keep wanting to hit director or whatever rank you need them to hit so that you can rank up. I hope that wasn't too confusing. If you have questions on the compensation plan, drop them in the comments and I'll try and explain it a little further. But we're going to move on. Sensi does offer you a personal website. Um, but it's almost like you need it. This is where customers can go to order their own stuff online. They don't have to fill out an order form. They don't have to talk to anybody. They can just go and order it online. So in my opinion, if you don't have a PWS, a personal website set up, then you are missing out um, on sales. So it, it just feels like they're making you have to do this. Now, this is not free. <laughs> New consultants get a free three month subscription to PWS, but you have to pay. It says here $10 a month, but I want to say that they've 
increase that amount to $15 a month. And then it tells you here like sell Scentsy products online, give new customers a place to find you, invite others to join your team, and share your Scentsy story with the world. And that's another thing. You can't really have a consultant join your team if you don't have a website. So you're really forced into doing this if you want to make money with this pyramid scheme in my opinion. So they do make sure that they have a subscribe and save type situation for their number one customers, which are the consultants. And that package, that subscription is the scent and warmer of the month. And every month, Scentsy puts out a warmer and a scent <laughs> that is 10% off for the month, that month only. And then sometimes they keep them. Um, other times they get rid of them, but after that one month is up, whatever stock they have will be regular price for the rest of the time that they have it. As a consultant, you can order a kit of either the scent of the month or the warmer of the month where you get the warmer, if you opt for the warmer, um, 10 scent bars, I think. Let's see nine scent bars it used to be 10 one scentsy room spray one fragrance tester uh one pack of the scented stickers and 50 monthly special special flyers so you pay 35 dollars for that or 60 dollars for the one with the warmer in it and that counts as prv toward your month so you automatically have that $60 or $35 coming out, but you have to realize as a consultant that that is you being a customer. That is not you running any kind of business, nothing. You are being the customer. You're buying the things. That's all they care about. <laughs> so they have this. I didn't know about this, actually. They have this page about international sales and sponsoring. It says Sensi does business all over the world. Find your country on the map and find your Sensi region and get ready to expand your business globally. When you want to sell and sponsor in your region, you have to pay $5 a month, sponsor new consultants and sell Sensi in any country within your region. So it like if you wanted to sponsor somebody in a different country in region one, if, if I was in America and I wanted to sponsor somebody in Canada or Mexico, I would have to pay $5 a month. <laughs> what? Or if you're internationally sponsoring, like say you wanted to sponsor somebody in New Zealand, you would have to spend $10 a month. And that is obviously if you're in like region one, I'm considering myself in region one because I'm in the US, but I didn't know about that. Why charge fees? These fees help cover the costs involved with bonus payouts, currency conversions, and updating your PWS for all appropriate countries and languages. Even if you don't personally sponsor across borders, you'll need to enroll if you want to earn bonuses on out-of-country downline. You must also agree to appropriate international sales and sponsorship agreements to do business internationally. So you're basically like you're putting money away in a savings for your bonus. <laughs> because why not just keep that money and not do that? So th <sighs> this doesn't make any sense. Here they talk about the, I know this video is getting super long, so I'm going to try and just brush through the rest of this. Um, here they talk about like the different parties and your presentations. I feel like they can't be that naive to think that parties are still going to keep happening. They're just not. <laughs> so they have in-person parties, home party, um, fairs and shows, one-on-one, -on, -one. on the go parties, our basket parties and fundraisers. Fundraisers are a nightmare. That was the worst experience of my life. I did one fundraiser for my son's preschool and it was awful. It was so bad. And with that, we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to, again, have all of this linked in the description below so that if you want to do your own investigating or fall down this scentsy rabbit hole, you can. As always, thanks for hanging out with me while I talk a bunch of sh and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>